Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy from Dataflare. Today we will start with the course of Code Java. Now when we talk about Code Java, the first question comes to our mind is why Java? So, Java is open source. One of the most powerful thing about Java, it is open source. Because the world is moving towards open source now. Think about PHP, then we have Hadoop, all these are open source technologies. Then Java has a huge community that you can get lots of support, you get lots of inbuilt libraries, all those things. Java provides lots of frameworks like frameworks like Sturge, then we have Hibernet framework, Spring framework. Then the most powerful thing about Java is JVM. Now JVM stands for Java Virtual Machines. So all the applications are, which, is, which are made in Java Run uh, runs on JVM. Now, if you, if you heard about Java, it is platform independent. It's all because of this this technology called JVM. Then Java supports applets. So, what is applets? It's basically a web component. So, let's say you want to play a game online, or if you want to do all those processing on your browser, you can use applet. Now it is deprecated, and that's why you can see that that line there. Java is pointerless, obviously, it's because uh, when you talk about C programming and C++, it directly runs on your hardware. So you can you can focus or you can uh, you can jump to the address location, but Java works on virtual machine, so that's why it is pointerless. Java is simple. Java provides lots of IDEs to work with. You you can work with Eclipse, you can work with NetBeans. So we have lots of IDEs. We'll see later. Java is multi-platform, which means Java is platform independent. The same software which are running on Windows machine can run on Linux machine. Okay, because all these basic OS, let's talk about Windows or Linux, they will be having JVM. Now next, Java is object-oriented language. And that's your last part. And the most important is Java is fun. That we'll see in the subsequent tutorials. Now, when you talk about Java, we have to be clear with these three basic names. One is JDK, JRE, and JVM. Now, JDK stands for Java Development Kit. That means when you when you want to create a software in Java, you require a kit using which you can make your files, and that is JDK. Next, once you create your files, those files will requ require some inbuilt functions, some inbuilt libraries provided by your Java. And that's your JRE, which is Java Runtime Environment. And then you require a platform where you can run your application, and that's its JVM, which is Java Virtual Machine. So how it works? First of all, Java is platform independent. That means it doesn't matter which type of OS you're working with, is it Windows, Linux, or Mac, you can run your application. It's because all this OS, all this OS will have something called as JVM. So it is every OS, every OS will have JVM. Now, now you have to take a Java file. So that means when you write your code, you have to write that code in .java file. Okay, and then that Java file will get compiled to get to create a dot class file. Now this class file will go to JVM and then you will get your output. That means the only concern what JVM has is it needs a dot class file. What you create is dot Java file. That means you have to convert this dot Java file into a class file and that is possible with the help of Java compiler. This is Java C. Clear? So where you will get JVM? For that, by default, every OS will have, not every OS in Android, we don't have JVM, but lot there are lots of OS which supports JVM. JVM asks you for dot class files, and you can get those byte code, which is dot class files from dot Java file. When you install Windows or Linux, by default, you get JRE with JVM. For JDK, you have to go to Oracle site and you can download this software called JDK. Again, by default, you'll be having some lower version of JVM, JRE. But if you download JDK 1.7 or 
automatically it, it will update your JRE and JVM. Okay. Okay. So these are the full forms. It is J Java Runtime Environment, Java Development Kit, and Java Virtual Machine. And the remaining part we'll see in the subsequent tutorials.